What to do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video your girl is here to bring you another video in my bronzer hunt week. This is the final day of my bronzer hunt week and today I am showing you guys my Sai Sun Melt Bronzer in Deep Bronze. I am very excited to show you guys this. This was one of the bronzers that I really wanted to make sure I showcased in this week. I bought it three months ago and I've still been wanting to showcase this for you guys so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're wondering about my eye look I did not record it um, and I did use a new product I actually ended up using my Natasha Denona glam face palette um, I pretty much have everything on my face except for this and this everything else I do have on here and I will be reviewing this product um, when I officially haul it, which will be next month during my um, Vlogmas series. So stay tuned for that. I already have my thoughts, already have my opinions. So yeah, anyways, let's get into the video. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start off this last day of bronzer hunt week with a bang. I've been really excited to show you guys this bronzer and I bought this before kind of going on my vacation. And this is the Sai Melt Sun Melt Deep Bronze. I am very, very excited um, about this. It reminds me of the Chanel de Chanel, whatever it's called. So I just was really excited to try this out. Of course, still have my e.l.f. sponge, which honestly, after this, I'll probably give a break and just use another one. Right now, I have the base of my foundation, which I'll have down below. And I also have a new concealer, um, which I am testing out. And it is the Fenty Beauty Concealer. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my normal amount of bronzer onto one side of my face so you guys can see what it looks like on my face. I would say that this foundation is very similar to my skin tone if not a dead on match. The only thing that might be throwing off my coloring a little bit is actually the concealer. It's a little yellow than I'm compared than I'm used to but other than that it's pretty much normal. So now you can see the cream bronzer by itself and no cream bronzer on. I'm going to hop off camera, finish up the cream bronzer overall, and then of course add my powder bronzer on one side so you guys can see what it looks like then, and then we'll come back again when everything is finished. So give me one second. Alrighty, so I am back, cream bronzer on my full face, and powder bronzer, which is my e.l.f. always spicy blush, um, primer infused blush, is on just this side. So as you can see, there is a slight difference. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face and then I'll show you guys what the bronzer looks like with everything on top. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, and I pulled it all together. As you can see, the Sai bronzer really came together. If I was doing this on a normal day, I actually would throw on a little bit of my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder just to kind of bring this all together because... It, it does stand out a little bit the Sai bronzer but what I will say is that it is so smooth and so warm that it's 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 good like this is making me kind of feel like I'm using my um, ColourPop bits and pieces powder bronzer again so if you guys remember my face of loving that bronzer and it was powder this to me gives off a very similar undertone on my skin um but yeah that's pretty much all i got for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed this six and final bronzer hunt day and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys